Hello everyone, I am Amanpreet Kaur, Assistant Professor, PG Department of Computer Science, Arya College, Lutiana. Now, today my topic is Generation of Computer, which is a topic of subject Computer Fundamentals. Now, firstly, we will discuss what is generation. Computer have been classified into five generation in a chronological order based on their development. Generation in a computer talk is a step in technology. It provides a framework that is structure for the growth of computer industry. It was used to distinguish between various hardware and software technologies in the development of computer that is due to technological advancement different changes have come in the computer system till today there are five computer generation that is first generation second generation third generation fourth generation and fifth generation first generation computer used vacuum tube and as their basic electronic component responsible for processing of data these components were very large in size that made the computer physically very large in size and these computer required large rooms for installation they used magnetic drums for memory this computer produced large amount of heat due to large consumption of electricity therefore this computer required continuous cooling with the help of large air conditioner conditioners these were very uh, were relatively unreliable as they could produce inaccurate results sometime input was based on a punch card and paper tape they performed slow input output operations examples of these computers are univac and eniac there are some advantages of these computer uh, vacuum tubes was the only electronic component available during those days those computers were very fast to calculate. Vacuum tube technology made possible the advent of electronic digital computers. These are the uh, these vacuum tubes are easily available and inexpensive. They were capable of making arithmetic and logical operations. There are some disadvantages also. These computers are very big in size and very slow. Low level of accuracy and reliability. These are not portable as they are very big in size. Air conditioning was required. Constant maintenance was required. Limited programming capability. These computers have limited programming capabilities. Only machine and assembly languages were used. And next generation is the second generation computer. These computers were developed in the year of 1955 to 1964. These computers used transistors in place of vacuum tubes. Transistors are more compact than vacuum tubes as they are made up of semiconductors. They are also more durable than vacuum tubes. They were much smaller in size and required lesser space for installation. Magnetic tapes were used as scantry storage. They consumed lesser power and therefore lesser amount of heat was generated as compared to first generation computer but still air conditioning was required they were very were highly reliable and lesser prone to hardware failure as compared to first generation computer they were about 10 times faster than first generation computer high level languages were used like COBOL and fortran fortran to instruct the computer for performing various tasks these computers were more versatile than first generation computer high input output operation speed than first generation computer there are some advantages of second generation computer firstly smaller in size as compared to first generation computer second generation computers were more reliable these computers used less energy and were not heated as much as first one first generation wider commercial use better portability as compared to first generation better speed and could calculate data in a microseconds used faster peripherals these computer used assembly language as well there are some disadvantages 
cooling system was required constant maintenance was required costly and not versatile only used for specific purpose punch card was used in the third generation of computers integrated circuit ic's were used instead of vacuum tubes and transistor the size of these computers was smaller than earlier computers these ic's were called chips these ic's were more compact than transistor single ic's has many transistors register and capacitor placed on a single thin of silicon chip so the computer built of such component became smaller magnetic disk used for external storage and storage space available in these computer was much more than earlier computer they consumed less power than second generation computers but still air conditioning was required they were more reliable and lesser prone to errors than earlier computers they had high processing speed than second generation computers monitors and keyboards were used for input and output development of standardized high level language like pascal basic etc were easy maintenance cost of these computer was very less as compared to earlier computers they were general purpose machine suitable for both scientific and commercial application there are some advantages also smaller in size these computer are smaller in size better speed more reliable less heat production easily portable less expensive commercial production increased good storage maintenance cost is low because hardware failures are rare there are some disadvantages there are lot of cases where air conditioning was required highly sophisticated production was very tough and costly next is the fourth generation computers that were developed in the year of 1975 to 1989 fourth generation computer used very large scale integration that is vlsi technology after the induction of integrated circuit circuits computer could only get small in size since hundreds of computers could fit onto one chip with the advent of ulsi that is ultra large scale integration million of computer could fit fit into one chip high speed microprocessors were used in these computers millions of electronic components were integrated on a single microprocessor chip they were much smaller and cheaper than third generation computer they consumed less power than third generation computer they were more reliable and less prone to hardware failure than third generation computer therefore their maintenance cost is negligible they had faster and largest primary and secondary storage as compared to third generation computer gui that is graphical user interface enabled new user to quickly learn how to use computer use of standard high level language allowed program to be transferred transferred from one computer to another supports more input and output devices than previous generation computers they were general purpose machine used in application development there are some advantages also more powerful and reliable than previous generation small in size cost of operation was very less uh, heat generation was negligible fast processing power with lesser power consumption no air conditioning required less need of repair all, all types of high level language can be used in this type of computers cheapest among all generation disadvantages also there is disadvantages highly sophisticated technology required for the manufacture of lsi chip they had less storage capacity and needed further improvement fifth generation computer that is 1989 to present fifth generation computer based on artificial intelligence ai are still in development artificial intelligence is a branch of computer science concerned with making computer behave like human these are portable computers are much smaller and handy than fourth generation computer fifth generation computers are several times more powerful than fourth generation computer they consume less power than earlier computer they are much more reliable and less prone to hardware failures than previous generation computer they have faster and larger primary and secondary storage as compared to previous generation computer more user friendly interfaces with multimedia features 
make the system easier to learn and use by anyone including children the goal of a generation computer is to develop devices that respond to natural language input that is human language like english hindi and french and are etc and are capable of learning there are some advantages of these generation also these are faster than other generation computer easier to repair these computers smaller in size than other generation they are portable and easy to handle less prone to hardware failure more reliable and work fast highly possible storage capacity development of true artificial intelligence there are some disadvantages also they tend to be sophisticated and complex tools they need very low level languages thank you thank you everyone this is all about the generation of computer we have discussed the generation and their characteristics also their advantages and disadvantages hope you like the video thank you